Hey y'all and welcome back. Today I'm going to do something new I've never tried before. Some of you may know, some of you may not know, but I'm in the process of starting up a food trailer. Well, with that you have to have a menu and our main focus is going to be smash burgers and griddle dogs. We are going to do not just plain smash burgers, of course the classics will be on there, but we're going to do like a taco, we got a uh, Hawaiian, we have a pizza, and today I'm going to try fajita. Uh, see if it makes the cut. See if I'll make it, want to put on the menu, maybe adjust something. We'll find out. Time to play along as we go. Now, as you can see with the ingredients that we're using here, it's not going to take a whole lot. I'm just trying to keep the recipes very basic, but still full of flavor. I mean, because when you're on a food trailer, you don't have a lot of room to have a lot of ingredients. So, plus I try to keep it simple here for the family also. Now, as far as the griddle goes, I went ahead and fired it up, put everything on medium. Now, medium on my griddle is screaming hot. I mean, it is hot. So you want a good hot surface for that smash burger. When you smash it down, it sears in there. That's what you want. Now, speaking of the griddle, while that thing's over there heating up, which is just about ready now, let's go ahead and form these smash burgers. Now, we're just making two burgers here today, so we'll make it very simple. So I have here about a half a pound of 80-20 ground chuck. So I'm making roughly about four ounce hamburger balls, and that's really about the perfect size. Four to five ounces is all you're looking for for a good smash burger. So let's take about half of this, like that. What you want to do is just roll it lightly. You don't want to pack it. You just want a loose formed hamburger ball. But you want them about the same size. So that one needs a little bit more over here. And let's see here. Roll it up like that. They ain't got to be perfect. They just got to be in a ball. That's all. There you go. Just like that. So there they go. They're just loosely packed. Do not pack these hamburger balls tightly. Just leave them loosely packed. Just enough to kind of hold the shape. Let's go check on that griddle. <laughs> well, as you can see, we got some white smoke coming off this griddle. So that means it's time for some groceries. Let's throw a bit of oil down first. Let's get some oil over here. We'll throw all our bell peppers and our onions right there. And I'm gonna hit that bell pepper and onion with a little bit of fajita mix. I just picked up a couple packs just cause I'm trying something new. Let's add some of that seasoning over here to it. And give it a good mix. Ooh, that is smelling good. Now I went ahead and started these bell peppers and these onions. But first, kind of give them a head start because this smash burgers won't take long enough. But all I want to do with these is just kind of soften them up. Let's give them another quick stir. Man, them are looking so good already. Man, these right here got a good char on them already. And they are smelling so good. So now, them peppers and onions are really going. I mean, they're going quick. Let's go ahead and get our smash burgers going. So you there, put you there. Now, I happen to have a Blackstone Smasher but a good flat spatula, anything sturdy will do. Grab some parchment paper, lay it on one of them burgers and just press it down. Hold for roughly 10 seconds. It ain't gotta be exact. Just look for a good contact sear with that surface. Just like that right there. I'll do the same with the other one. And there you go. Let's season them burgers too. Now that we got them things smashed, let's stir our bell peppers and onions up a little bit. Oh, look at that char on them, boy. Yes, sir. That's what I'm wanting right there. I'm gonna slide them over here just a little bit and turn down this to low. And believe it or not, these burgers are ready to flip already. Once you see that kind of bubbling coming up and the brown around the edges, that's what you're looking for. Let's give them a good flip. Now you can use a regular spatula for flipping these, but I recommend getting you a wide spatula with a beveled edge. A good beveled edge will help you get up under there and get that crust. Like this right here. See it's kind of stuck to that griddle? But man, look at that crust. Just like that, perfect. Now that is the crust I'm talking about right there. That's what you want in a smash burger. So now that we got them flipped, let's put some cheese on them. Now, I like my smash burgers really cheesy, so I'm going two slices of cheese on each one. 
Oh yeah, just like that. And now is also a good time to get them buns toasted up. So I'm gonna come down here on the edge, right in here. Put some butter down. Throw my bread on. There we go. We fit and eat us some good fajita burgers here in a minute, I thank y'all. One more thing I forgot. This lime right here. I wanted to add a little bit of lime into them peppers and onions. Now, I don't want to move the cameras around because it's I'm, I'm cooking, but the best way to do that is just roll it out, kind of soften that lime up just a little bit. Take it, just cut it in half, bring it over here to the peppers and onions, and just squeeze some into it. Yeah, buddy, there you go. Add that flavor. All right, y'all, let's check on these buns. If they're toasted up, if they are, we're ready to build these things. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect. Yes, sir. So let's kill the heat. Slide our burgers over. Slide our buns over. Grab us a cutting board and let's build these things. So let's put our heels up here first. Put the burgers on. Ow, that's hot. Careful. Careful, it's hot. Grab some of these peppers and onions. Put them on there, like so. Yes, sir. And top them off. Wait a minute, let's get this back a little prettier here. There we go, top them off. There we have it. Some fajita smash burgers. Let's take a close look at these things. Man, these are looking really, really good. Got a little bit of char with that seasoning on them, peppers and onions. Them good old smash burgers, all that cheese down in there. I mean, look at that. Good char on them burgers. Yeah, buddy, we gotta try these out. Well, y'all, they smell delicious. As far as the char on the peppers and onions go, that seasoning did char a little more than I expected. So I'm gonna work with that a little bit. This may be okay, I don't know, but I say we try it out. I think I'm gonna grab this one right here. First off, if I put that on your plate coming out of a food truck, would you be mad at me? That's what I need to know. Would you be like, I ain't eating that. I mean, look at the peppers and stuff just fall off. But I, I kind of want to know. I need, I need people's inputs on what they would like, what they wouldn't like. So just let me know in the comments. But please be nice about it. I'm just learning. Please. Let's try it out. Okay. Really good. It's got that classic smash burger taste. It needs more fajita season, but it's there. The peppers and onions really do help it. They really do. Uh, but I think it needs more fajita season overall. But then again, you may like it, you know, a lot of, depends on how you want it seasoned. Me personally, I would like a little more on there. But overall, I think the burger's great. I wouldn't be mad if I ordered this and this is what I got. It's got a great taste to it. The peppers and onions. Like I said, a classic smash burger taste is there. And that's really what I'm kind of, you know, trying to keep in focus of. So anyhow, thanks for joining me. Let me know down below what you think, what you do different. Maybe some tips and suggestions. Uh, what you like, maybe some jalapenos, kind of spice it up a little bit. I don't know. You know there's so many ways you can do things. And like I say in other videos, cooking's guidelines there's no one set rule there's a million ways to do the same thing so hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna work with a little bit more with this we'll see you next time